This video is going to be a little different. It's not a build video or tutorial. It's about my first experience with actually milling lumber. The wooded area behind my house is being cleared for new development, and most of what they've cleared immediately went into burn piles, except for one log. One very big log. This log actually had character and a very, very stubborn personality. A friend of mine came by, and after wrestling this thing for a couple hours with toe straps and ratchets and eventually his truck, we moved it about four feet, give or take. So enter Joey. Joey is one of the dirt movers behind our house and he was happy with about 20 bucks to move the log into my backyard for me with a bobcat. He was a really cool guy and actually through the next week he came by and dropped a few more logs off for me in one really cool small about three foot crotch section of a white oak. My initial plan was to take the Alaskan chainsaw mill approach with the first log but since I don't have a chainsaw I thought we'd better go ahead and call in a professional that could actually maximize the quality and quantity of usable lumber from all of these new logs. To get everything ready, I figured it'd be best to have all the logs move close to the driveway towards the front of my backyard. So my next door neighbor, Daryl, came by and helped me move all the logs, except for the big one. It actually ripped the ball from his tow hitch. Sorry, Daryl. So the log ended up staying right there where Joey left it. Q Tad. He's a one-man sawmill business. He'll come right to you, set up his mill on your property, cut everything down in dimensional lumber or into slabs, answer any questions you have, and leave with a smile. This guy was awesome. When he showed up, we talked, and I was really relieved when he told me he could just set up his saw around the big massive log, and then we could adjust the saw later to, to get the rest of it. But even still, initially, getting that log using pry bars and log rolly stick things it was still a fight to get that thing up on the supports but after a few more lessons in physics and leverage we got it up there and he went right to work while he was working we had some great conversation he told me all about how to get these things to drive properly how to stack and sticker them and he gave me a lot of suggestions and corrected a few potential errors i was going to make specifically wrapping this thing with a tarp just thought keep the moisture off of it he said that's actually going to trap moisture in. That makes sense, so thanks, Dad. 
I'll leave a link to his Instagram account as well as a time lapse of the full day that you can check out. If you're in the Middle Tennessee area, I would definitely check him out if you have anything that needs to be cut up like I said, into slabs or dimensional lumber. He'll do an awesome job. Now, I know it's been a while since I posted a video. I'm sorry about that. A lot of things have been going on, building other things that haven't really been taped. But I do have a lot of small project videos in the works and a lot of small things going on, so keep an eye out for those. I'm also thinking about maybe just to keep the momentum going with weekly videos. If I'm not building something, at the very least, giving you some kind of shop update. I'm also going to be building a shop out next to my house, a full shop just for woodworking, so more to come on that as well. You can follow my progress on any projects that I'm working on on Instagram, at Mr. Matt Woodworks, and don't forget to subscribe here for full videos and tutorials. Thanks.